Hello, how are you? Are you okay? Hello, Miss Jennifer. Do you listen to me? Jennifer? Hi, Hello. yes, I can hear you. Ah, okay. Thank you because uh, Zoom was telling me that my microphone was not working, so I was testing it. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. Great. You're welcome. Okay. In a couple of minutes, we are going to get started, okay? Um, welcome, okay. Erwin. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Jennifer. Actually, in three minutes, Hi. we are going. <clears throat> Hi, welcome. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Good okay, evening. good evening. In three minutes, we get started, okay? Good evening. Good evening. Thanks for joining. In two minutes, we get started. Okay, thank you. Okay, class, it is exactly the time to get started. I am so glad that all of you are here. And I expect that by now, all of you are with your manual. Yes? Did you download the book? Hello? Yes or no? Yes, as, teacher. Okay, great. Excellent. Yes. As far as I see, Evelyn Jamilet has her, her manual. Congratulations. And also Miguel, and what about you, Jennifer? You have your manual available, yes? Excellent. And Rosalie, Yvonne, do you have your book? Katia, Maria, Susan, Carlos Rivas, and Edwin, Esaú, do you have your manual? Yes? Yes, oh, teacher. Okay, okay, virtually, but yes. Uh, so if you have it virtually, there is no problem because you may edit it, okay? And then there is no problem, only if you have the editor. 
So class, in order to take advantage of the time, here we go, let's get started, okay? You are really welcome to the class. And fortunately, you didn't have problems with the Moodle, I mean, with Zoom, right? Today, because yesterday, some of you had problems. I'm going to share my PPT with you, class. Hi. Yes. Okay, it is loading. And here we go. Today is uh, September 7th, 2023. Is that correct? Yes? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, if I if one day I make a mistake with the date, please correct me, okay? Don't be afraid, don't be shy. You tell me, no teacher, but today is not that day, okay? And I'm going to correct it, no problem. Feel free to do that. And then in our agenda, we have the welcoming, what I told you, okay? And let's see if we have a new participant. To me, someone who was absent yesterday, I think that all of you were here yesterday, right? Yes, all of you were here yesterday. So I'm going to skip the introductions step because we introduced yesterday. We're going to go over the objectives, but we're going to have a feedback, okay? In the pre-task for today, we have identified three ways you, especially individually, okay? You contribute to the company. In the preparation task, uh, we have, will you be a good asset for the company you work for? Describing employees' benefits, the benefits that you have at work. Benefits you would bring to a new company. Imagine that you <clears throat> stop working by any reason in the company that you are working for right now, and then you have to move to another company. So. What are the benefits that you would bring to that new company that, are, that is going to hire you, okay? That is what we're going to be discussing a little bit today. And, well, this is my uh, introduction, but all of you were here. A reminder class for homeworks and evaluations. <clears throat> Remember, it is mandatory. It is an obligation. You know this but I'm going to be reminding you every single day. To get at least 80% as an average in your homework and evaluations in order to get your diploma. The homework you know that are on the platform just after each class. All the homeworks and the topics that have been covered in class must be you know, finish, done, all the homeworks at the end of every week, yeah? And also the midterm test and the final test, and that's it. And also a reminder that your manual might be downloaded from the platform, yeah? Your learning platform. What are some of the requirements? I'm going to ask Mr. Galdames Calderon, would you please read this uh, information in this slide? Please go over. Sorry, teacher. Read the information that we have here in this slide in Spanish. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En el caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyente. Okay. Luego de su nombre, cámara encendida durante toda la sesión, minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible, participación activa. Okay, this is what we were discussing yesterday, right? Because everything is um, recorded and besides when we have our microphones uh, on, we interrupt the participation of the other partners and we deserve respect, okay? So, active participation is mandatory. No matter if you make mistakes, no. If you're going to speak for a while Spanish, no matter, but the idea is that you try to use the structures, okay? And then here, we have some information about your attendance. 
uh, the attendance is expected that you get it in 100% in order to make it effective and productive for you. To get the 120 minutes in each class, because it is two hour classes, so 60 and 60 minutes equals 120 minutes, okay? And then, as you know, as a tradition at English Corporativo, in every class, we take the attendance twice, at about 8.20 p.m. and at about 9.40 p.m. It is said that your attendance is going to be valid when we listen the participants saying, presente, present, here I am, here, hello, okay? And the camera must be on. And also the sessions one-on-one -on -one at the end of the class. One of you is going to stay with me 10 minutes after the class in order to reinforce any topic to practice pronunciation, to practice grammar or vocabulary, okay? And I'm so sorry, but I don't have the authorization. I am not any authority in order to give you permission to skip classes, to be absent in classes. Neither the administration at English Corporativo. Why? Because we don't have that attribution, okay? So they just take note of your situation and they report it to InstaFort and InstaFort decides, okay? You know that. And this is the expectation. But reality, okay, the expectation is that all of you have your cameras on. And the microphone, okay, off. Camera on, the two chats are available, the one via Zoom and the one via WhatsApp. The breakout rooms are also available and also in the breakout rooms, the button to ask for help if I am monitoring another group. And as I told you yesterday, we need respect, okay? And don't shout to your partners and watch out your language. You are not allowed to use um, coarse words. You know the meaning of coarse words. Coarse words are malas palabras, okay? You don't say bad words, no. You say coarse words. That's it. And then here, okay, by September the 12th, homeworks in unit or section one must be done in your platform. And then you have for week number two from September 13th to 20th. And week number three from September 21st to September 27th. And in the last week, if it is possible that you go over the exercises, that would be excellent. Okay? Because you're going to feel free. I, I finished the homeworks. I finished the exams. No problem. Because remember, we are in rainy season and we suffer heavy rain, thunders, lightning, and also blackout. You know the meaning of blackout? Blackout, what we call in Spanish apagones, blackout, okay? One word, blackout, apagón. And also your internet connectivity is not going to work so good as it is expected because of the rainy season. Okay, so that's why I encourage you to work as much as possible on the platform. Now, one volunteer, I'm going to remain in silence. I need one volunteer to read this slide. Objectives, the general objective, specific objective for today, and the class objective. Okay, one volunteer. Thank you, Andre. Please. Okay, general objective. The participant talk about benefit they could they would could bring to a company. A specific objective. Participants will be available to explain if they will be good assets for the company because of experience. Class objective. Participants will be available to create a two-minute presentation about the benefits they would bring to a new company, if you had the opportunity to work in it. Excellent, very well. And this is associated, if you notice, to what I was telling you in the agenda. 
And here we go. But before we go over class, we're going to have a short feedback or review on what we did yesterday in class. Ah, yesterday we watched the video uh, about INSAFORP and the benefits to the Salvadoran population, yes? All the trainings that they offer to Salvadoran people. And here, if you remember, Yesterday, you were working in the breakout rooms and you were asking, what are some of your abilities? Are you a fast learner? And some of you were saying yes or no, I'm not. And then you listened to me and I read the conversation. You went to the breakout rooms and you practiced the conversation with a partner and you uh, practiced the role playing and you were switching, yes? And this was the conversation that you were practicing and you were answering also these two questions, yeah? About the conversation number one and about, a per, we turned into personal conversation and information question about your real life. What are the qualifications for the work you do, yes? Also, we were completing some sentences with the correct form of can, or can't, and that was at page 10. Do you remember? We were working on this, and we were explaining the uses of can and can't for abilities. But the last activity was that you had to complete these boxes with activities that you can do and activities that you cannot do. And today, as a feedback in order to connect yesterday's class and today's class, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms, but what are you going to do? You are going to read the activities that you can do and the activities that you cannot do to your classmates. Here, you write a list of your activities that only the ones that you can do. And here, the activities that your classmates can do that they are good at, okay? their skills, is it clear or no? More or less. Hello, does that make sense? If you remember yesterday class, you were working on this, yes? Do you have this information? Yes, yes, more or yes. less or no? Okay. If you don't have it, if you didn't finish, you have to finish in the breakout rooms. And later here, okay, you write here three skills that you are good at. And here three things or skills, abilities that you are not good because you cannot do it. For example, in my case, I can't ride a motorcycle. I can't. When you are in the groups, you read what you can do and what you cannot do. After you listen to your classmates, you write here what you personally can do. So this information is going to be transferred over here. And later, you are going to write here the skills that your classmates are not good at. Is it okay? Did I explain it or not yet? Yes. yes okay. Sure. Anyways, I'm going to be monitoring your groups, okay? And here we go. Remember that this is at page 10. And here we go. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. Welcome, everyone, to the ones who joined a little bit late. Um, let me see, 22 over here. Okay, class, right now I'm going to share with you the invitation so you can join the different breakout rooms. Open your eyes big like me. There you are. Join your groups if you are so nice, please. Thank you. Great. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great.
Katia Maria, I need you in group number one. Katia Maria de Leon, I need you in group number one, okay? Let me see. Eduardo Flores and Andre. Okay, thank you, Andre. Edward, Mr. Flores, go to group number three. Miss mm. Rosalie Bond, even though you are a listener, Miss, join the group. Because if you stay here, you lose the minutes of your attendance. Because here the group is telling me that you are not joined. And now, Catherine, I'm going to send you the invitation. Okay, Catherine? Let me see. Okay. Catherine, uh, please go. Let me see. Okay. Right now, Catherine, go to group number three. Okay. Okay, excellent. You are working very hard, okay, on your skills, the ones that you can do and the ones that you cannot do. Okay, when you finish, you read them to your partners, okay? And you create your list of the ones that you can do and your partners cannot do. Maybe there is a coincidence on the activities that you can do and the activities that you cannot do. And you may say, I can't speak uh, Russian or I can't speak Italian. And the rest of the group, me neither. Me neither, yo tampoco, okay? And then you have a coincidence on the activities that you cannot do. Okay. 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 See you later. I can read fast. And about the other line, I can't dry a trap. I can't sleep late. I can't speak loud. Okay, and you can't sleep late, speak loud, and what else? I can't drive a truck. And you tell me that you can read fast, drive a car, and what else? And I can cook pictures. Cook pizza. Yes. Okay. How about you? Well, I can swim. Mm. I can play the guitar. And I can drive a car. And I can't uh, cook. I can't. Read. Oh, si yo digo, si yo digo, I can miss work tomorrow. Estoy diciendo, no puedo faltar al trabajo mañana. Aplica para el ejemplo. Hay que... El ken es sobre habilidades. Ah, sobre habilidades. Ajá. Correcto. Por ejemplo, hay que drive a truck. I can cook. Or uh, I can ride a bike. 
on in negative in negatives probably I can't speak Japanese. Uh -huh, activities that you cannot do and activities that you can do skills if you are uh, for example I can learn fast positive yeah or negative I can't learn fast why because I, I am you know I'm not a fast learner I learn slowly so remember the Mr. David Emmanuel that we use can for mm -hmm. the skills that you can perform, yes? And can mm -hmm. for the ones that you cannot. As uh, Ms. Esteli was saying, you may say, I can cook, but I can't make pupusas, for example, yes? Mm -hmm. One affirmative okay. and one negative. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Class, are you okay with the exercise? Yes? Hello? Hello, teacher. Okay, no, no problem? No. Okay, great. Continue, please. Okay. Otra podría ser, I can fishing. Listen, when you use can, the next verb must be in infinitive. You say, I can't, I can't fish. fish. I can't fish. Okay? Can't fish. Okay, great. Y de can. Para que cada quien... presente su, um, su ejemplo. Sí, sí. Okay. Eh, solo sería así como, como ejemplo. Eh, en mi caso yo tengo I can drive in a car. I can swim. swim. I can learn in English. Eh, y los otros serían I can driving a motorcycle. I can play basketball. Okay. Eh, un ejemplo de cada uno de um, I can y I can't. Sí, así sería. Allí, allí lo compartí en el chat okay. de la captura porque no, no se puede compartir así directamente. Ay, no veo. Ahorita vamos a... Ok. ¿Lo puede, ¿Lo puede ver? Sí, sí, ya lo tuve que... Hello, class. Did you finish the activity? Yes. Okay. Everybody participated? Miss Carla Minero? Everybody? Shared? Yes, we, we did. Okay. You did it. Now it's time to return to the main session room. Okay? Thank you so much for your participation.
Thank you, class. Listen, right now I'm going to call your names in order to take your attendance. Is that okay? So, if I don't mention your name, please let me know. Miss Ana Cristina Hernandez. Ana Cristina Hernandez, absent. Okay, Andre. Andre Pardo Camacho. Yes, okay, thank you. Um, Arely Isabel Campos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present, teacher. Great. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Thank you. David Emanuel Custodio. I am here. I am here, thank teacher. You. Present. Excellent. Thank you. Miss Daisy. Daisy Caroline, where are you? Present, I, teacher. Oh, okay, I saw you in the breakout rooms. Mr. Edwin Esaú Galdames. Here, yes, teacher. Great. Miss Elizabeth. De Ana Carla Minero. Here I am. Thank you. Miss Evelyn Jamilet. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Miss Hill Yvonne Menjivar. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Mr. Henry Giovanni Rivas. Henry Giovanni. Absent. Guillermo Eduardo Adrego. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Beatriz Mejia Cepeda. Present. Thank you. Juan Eduardo Flores. Present. Thank you. Catherine Beatriz Reyes Ventura. Uh, present teacher. Thank you, Catherine. Katia Maria de León. Miss Katia. Katia Maria de León, absent at the moment. Maritza Elizabeth Martí, Martinez, absent. Okay. Noé Gustavo Santos. Noé Gustavo Cardona, no. Mm, let me see. Núñez, perdón. No es Gustavo Núñez. Perdona. Ajá. Uh -huh. Present. Thank Present. you. Okay, thank you so much. Miguel Ángel Santos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Oscar Eduardo Meléndez. Present. Thank you. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Absent. Reina Elizabeth Garcia Alfaro. Present. Okay, thank you. Rosalie Bon Quintanilla. Is she here? You, yesterday she was here, but now she's not. Okay. Sonia Esmeralda Mauricio. Absent. Susan Carolina Rosales Escobar. Susan? Present. Thank you. Ursula Estelí Gómez Martínez. Present. Okay, thank you, Miss. Okay, class. You were practicing in the breakout rooms with can and can't. And just as a reminder, Okay, we're going to have this. Remember that we use this model auxiliary to show your abilities, your skills. For instance, you may say, I can swim, but I can't mm, drive a bus, probably. Yes, that's it. That is one example. One skill, one thing that you are good at, and one thing or one skill that you don't possess. Yes? 
So we use can for affirmative and can't for negative cases. Now, tell me. In group number one, Edward Flores, Edwin Esaú, Gilly Bon, Noé Gustavo, Oscar Eduardo, did you find any coincidence in the skills that you cannot do? Do you remember? Or no, you don't remember? No. Okay. And did you find out any coincidence that you have a skill that most of you or at least two people in the group are good at? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Okay, which are those skills? Could you name them? Say the skills that you are good at. For example, mm -hmm. what are those skills that you have similar with your classmates? In that group, my case teacher, for example, uh, uh, any parents there are no can't drive a motorcycle. Excellent, great, very well. Now, in room number two, we have Arely Isabel, Carlos Enrique, Daniel Ernesto, and your last name, Daniel Ernesto. Add your last name, otherwise, the administration is going to call you. Elisa, eh, Miss Ana Carla Minero, Guillermo Eduardo Abrego, Reina Elizabeth. Did you find out any coincidence? One skill that two, three, or more people in your group are good at? For example, I can't write, but, but I can't see the form. You can't drive, but I can't drive, but I uh -huh, but can't while, see the phone. While you are driving, you cannot see the phone. Yes, is yeah. that okay? But yeah. some people do that. They are um, they are driving, and they check the phone, and many motorcycle riders. They are even texting while they are you know riding the motorcycle but now that is not going to be accepted by the police uh, okay institution neither for the government because they are going to give you a ticket if they catch you driving with the phone you get a ticket a fine you know a fine or a ticket una multa yeah what we call it in spanish so please be careful with that uh, thank you so much. In group number three, we have David Emanuel, Andre, Catherine, Miguel Angel, and Ursula Esteli. So tell me, class, did you find out any coincidence or in affirmative or negative? Okay, uh, I can play soccer, but I can play basketball okay excellent very good and there are some people who are good at both sports yeah they can play basketball and they can play soccer in room number four we have uh, Anna Cristina Miss Daisy Caroline Henry Giovanni Jennifer Beatriz uh, Rosalie Bon, and Susan Carolina did you find out any coincidence? Yes, teacher, in our group. Sorry. In our group are three skills that coincidence with Jennifer and one thing that coincidence with Susan. Susan? Okay. What are those skills? With um, with Jennifer, I can't ride a motorcycle. I can play video games because because I don't like. And um, the third the third thing is I can swim. Okay, very well. And Excellent. with Susan. I can cook. 
you and Susan can't cook. Can cook. Yes. Ah, yes. can. Affirmative or yes. negative? Affirmative. Affirmative. Ah, wow. Congratulations. That's why I was like, what? Okay, <laughs> good. Thank you so much, class, uh, for your participation. Now, let's continue. And uh, here we go. Let me see. Over here. Okay. This is what we were. Okay. Uh, where were we? This is what we were doing yesterday. This is what we did yesterday. Mm, right now. Let me see. This is what we did. And now, here we go. Class, right now, we're going to be talking about the benefits I bring to my company. Yes? The purpose of this activity, guys, is to talk about the benefits I bring to my company. The instructions. Please turn your books at page 11, everyone. You are going to listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and later you are going to read after me, okay? You are going to practice the conversation. When you practice, some volunteers are going to read the conversation. You are going to practice in pairs in the breakout rooms. After that, you are going to role play the conversation here back in front of the class but you are going to change the information in the book by your real conversation. And after that, you're going to write the answers in the book, the ones that are required. So those are the instructions. And here we go. I'm going to show you the book because we can write if there is something that we need to write. Okay, so here, exercise number one. This is for everybody. Can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? And what specific benefits do you provide, do you give to your company? Do you know the, the mission of your company? Have you ever read the mission of your company? Hello? Yes. yes, okay, now it is the time for you to say how much you feel identified with your company because remember, your company, you and your co-workers are a family. Yes or no? That is what they say, yes or no? Yes. Okay, so you're going to discuss in the groups. These are, first of all, the two questions that you are going to answer. At page 11, we have exercise one, only this one. Can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? Uh, what specific benefits do you provide to your company? For example, in my case, I stick to the regulations of the academy, Inglés Corporativo. I, um, I hold my certification and credits uh, from InSupport in order to be working here with the company. And I am a responsible person, yes? So those are the three uh, ways that I contribute to the company's mission and also vision. What specific benefits do you provide to your company? Mm, that I can help them teach in, in all the levels from basic to um, advanced levels, okay? in the English courses and many others. But that is my example. Now it is your turn to answer these two questions in the breakout rooms. Are we ready or do we have any question? This is exercise one only right now. Forget about the conversation. Go over exercise one, this one, okay? Is it clear or not yet? Hello? Do you know what you have to do? Teacher, can you repeat, please? I don't understand completely. Okay, okay. 
I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. You are going to ask and answer these two questions that we have in exercise one. For example, when you ask me, can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? I answered and I named the three, yes? And for the next question, what specific benefits do you provide to your company? I told you I am responsible and I can teach all the levels that uh, InstaFORP offers because some people can only teach the basic levels or basic and intermediate. In my case, I can teach all the levels, basic, intermediate, and advanced, yes? So those are, but that is my case. Now you have to answer with your, you know, with your reality. Is that okay? In the groups, only these two questions. You take turns to ask and to answer. Okay. Do you have any question, class, about the activity? No question. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope so. I hope so. Right now, I'm going to share with you the uh, invitation so you join the breakout rooms, okay? Here we go. Join your groups. Begin asking and answering those two questions. Eduardo Flores and Ana Cristina, your classmates are waiting for you in group number one. Can you tell me about the, the way you contribute to the company mission? What specific benefits do you buy to your company? I contribute to my company's mission. Um, I feel that I'm a good advisor. Um, the mission is about the, meet, uh, the needs and set expectations. Um, with technical support. So, being a good advisor, a good seller, and a good manager. Here, Eduardo Flores is also your partner class. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Eduardo. Estoy desde el cel y, y I, I don't see the, the picture. No, but the, you only have to answer the questions that Miss Carla is asking you, correct? What is the question? I don't see in the cell phone. No, I but don't she, in the... listen, she is going to ask you. You just listen to Carla. She's going to ask you the question and you answer. Yes. Okay. Okay, Miss Carla. Um. Yeah. Uh, Eduardo, can you tell me about three ways you contribute to the company's mission and what specific specific benefits do you provide to your company? Three conditions. Uh... No, three benefits that you bring to your company, okay? 
three good benefits that you give to your company as an employee. Ah, okay. That uh, our one benefit is that, for example, uh, the core or of English corporation, corporativo, that they support. No. No. It is that the company gets because you are an employee. How does the company get benefits because you are their employee? Sí, entiendo que son los beneficios que da la compañía. No, al... the other way around. That you give to the company as an employee. It is Lo the que opposite. Yo la compañía. Yes, that's it. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. For a training that another, another partner, the, okay. new, the new employee. Excellent. I, I help a, a partner that the bodega or the facho. Okay. And finally, uh, close the, the company in the afternoon. Okay. It's a three example. Yeah, that's good. The next question. The next question. What is the next question? Miss Carla is going to ask you the second question. Well, uh, what specific benefits do you provide to your company? No, voy con lejos, Carla. What specific benefits do you provide to your company? Specifically, the benefits that you give to your company. You give to the company at least one, but very specific benefit. Ah, okay. That very specific benefit is a uh, help and training a new employee in my company. Okay, great. Now maybe, I don't know if Jennifer asked the questions to Miss Carla. Jennifer. No. Okay, now you ask her. Okay. Um, Carla, can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? Yes. Um, for example, well, in my case, I have my own company. I don't have a, a mission like that, but um, I can tell you that one way will be um, for the environment because we make promotional products and we we don't contaminate the environment. Um, another way Did you finish asking and answering the two questions? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. great. All of you, excellent. Very well. So give me one second to ask the other teams and then we get back, okay? Did you finish the activity class? Yes. Cada quien está haciendo su, sus oraciones, teacher. Ya, ya las tenemos casi listas. Ah, okay, almost. Okay, thank you.
did you finish already with the activity class? Yes. No, just yes, no. I finished my part. Okay, and the others? Not yet. I don't know, teacher. Are they here or they are not available? We don't know. Miguel Angel, know. <laughs> are you here or are you there? Okay, Edwin Esaú, Miguel Angel, your answers? Okay, they are absent. In my case, only, only two. Okay. Um, his baby. <laughs> okay. To the company, not to the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Miguel Angel, are you available? Yes, teacher. Okay, are you ready? Not ready. <laughs> Why not? Oscar Eduardo? Oscar Eduardo is absent. And you, Mr. Abrego Ramirez? Okay, here we go. I'm going to ask you the questions because your partners. Okay, Mr. Abrego, can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? Mm, yes, um, trying to be kind with the customers and try to be to give them a solution for the request and being proactive with the customer. Excellent, good performance. What specific benefits do you provide to your company? Benefits for my company. What specific benefits do you, you provide, you give to your company? A specific benefit to the company that you as an employee give to the company? Mm, a good customer service. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, experience with the product of the company because okay. I know a lot about mm -hmm. the product. Yes. And... Those two more than enough, yeah? Because you are okay. going to um to convince, yes, to persuade the customers to buy the products that the company sells, yes? And that is the mission of the company, to sell as many products as possible, yeah? Okay, congratulations, you did a good job. Excellent. Now I'm going to ask the other group to check out if we can get back, okay? Thanks for your answers. Ready, class, finished. Susan and Andre? Oh, so <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> I can't start this one here, Daryl. Ah, what's going on? What's going on? Okay. Let's get back to the main session room. <laughs> Maybe you can have more ideas, okay? Okay. Because you can do it. Okay, let's wait for the others. Listen, some of the problems here is maybe one of the most important is that many employees, they don't know the mission of the company, yeah? Remember, the mission of a company is the reason the company exists for, yes? And you have to contribute to that because if the company doesn't exist, you don't have a job, you don't get a salary. Is that okay? So that's it. And what specific benefits do you provide to your company? Focusing on the mission, 
the activities that you can give to the company in order to survive. Yes? Okay. And then right now we have this conversation. Listen to your teacher with the conversation, then practice with a partner. The conversation is between Andre and Kirk. Kurt. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company uh, a San employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. And I was listening to some of you, and some of you were mentioning some of these uh, assets, okay? Some of these uh, characteristics that are vital for a company to hire you, to contract you. One more time. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. Mm -hmm. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you uh, look? Can you bring to this company as an as an employee? In this question, should be what can you bring? Okay, the missing it is missing the word what. What can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be a great asset in this company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Notice that he doesn't say big projects, no. Large projects. Because big is like this, and large goes like this, okay? So now, class, I need two participants, two volunteers, in order to practice this conversation as a model of what you are going to do in the breakout rooms. Two volunteers, please. Me, teacher. Okay, Oscar, Eduardo, you are going to read Andre. I need another participant. Me. Uh, Guillermo. Okay, Guillermo, you are going to read Kurt. Let's begin. One, two, three. Kurt. Kurt, how uh, comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Wow, class, excellent. And when you finish practicing this conversation, you switch roles, okay? Uh, the person who read Andre now is going to read Kurt, and who read Kurt is going to read Andre. So you are going to read the conversation two times, every two people. And later, you are going to discuss the answers to the questions below. What would be some asset, some benefits of uh, having Kurt in the company? Do you consider that experience is important? And say why, if you say yes, it is. Experience is important because blah, 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 okay? When you finish this class, I need you to create this conversation. For example, here we forget about Andre and Kurt. And we're going to have here Guillermo and Eduardo, for example. And then we say, mm, let's imagine. Eduardo, how comfortable do you feel working in the... And we are going to use... 
the department that he is in. Uh, and for example, in the if he's not uh, in the sales area, for example, in the accounting area, or you write your reality. Is that okay? You are going to construct a conversation with your real information. So number one, you read and practice this conversation as it is. You switch roles. Number two, you answer these questions based on the information that you have in here. Number three, you are going to produce to create a conversation similar to this one, but with your real names and your real job positions. Does that make sense? Okay, yes? Okay. So, uh, right now, uh, remember class, we are working at page, um, which is the page? Let me see because I don't see it here. 11. At page 11 and you have to practice as much as possible, okay? Here we go. I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm going, but please, if you are in a group, participate. Okay, because you are here in order to practice the language. So don't be shy. I sent you the invitation. Go to your groups, please. Join your groups. Yvonne, I need you in your group. Hey, Andre, go to your group. Andre, I need you to go to your group so I can move you to another group, Andre. Hello, Andre. Okay, Andre, I'm going to send you another invitation, okay? Sorry, teacher. Go Stop. to group go go to group number four. I'm going to send you the invitation. Go to group number four. Bueno. Okay. Opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I could be a great asset in the company because of my experience. <laughs> it sounds great. <laughs> and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, I am Andre. Yes, sir. How comfortable do you feel working on the sales area? <laughs> okay, pretty. Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company Hassan and Plessy? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the con construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, don't change, Bill. You start. Okay. 
Ahora. Invertir. Tienen que cambiar los roles. No. Okay. Here, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable. Here, with my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? Employee. I will be construcho industry. It's a um, great. Yes, I'm because of of me expense. I manage. I could be a great here a life project. Okay. Okay, Evelyn and 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 me. Okay. Here. How comfortable do you feel working in the silence area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a, a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It's on gray. Yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great helping large projects. Okay, no, I am already. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Here, how uh, comfortable do you? Of my experience, construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in a large project. Projects. Okay. Eh, usted inicia okay. de nuevo. Ahora. Here, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in my company because of my experience in my construction industry. It sounds great. Yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large project. Okay. Podemos seguir hasta las 11 de la noche, sigamos. But listen, if you finish practicing, <laughs> you have to answer yes, the teacher. questions. And later you have to create your conversation, your original conversation with your job positions and your expertise, okay? So answer the questions mm -hmm. and later you create your conversations, okay? Please. Okay, okay. Hey, congratulations. Good practice. Thank you, teacher. Hey, my pleasure. We finished, teacher. You finished practicing the conversation? You answered the two questions? Yes. yes everybody practiced the conversation? And yes. you created your real conversation? No. Aha, uh -huh. so you have to decide, Mr. Guillermo Eduardo, if you are going to create your conversation with Oscar, with Edwin Esaú, with Rosalia, or with uh, Miguel Angel. And Miguel Angel is going to construct another conversation similar to that one, but with your real information, okay? And you are going to present it in the main session room the conversation that you are going to create with your yeah. name and your job positions and the expertise that you have. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Great. Very good. 
Let's be productive. Are you finished already? Hello, I'm sorry for the interruption. Um, <laughs> are you creating the conversation? Yes. Of course. Okay. Remember that you are going to present your uh, new conversation in front of the class, okay, in the main session room. The role play. Yo creo que okay. en donde dice, do you consider that the experience is important? Podría yes. ser que sí. Yes, ¿y por qué? Why? Ajá. Porque, bueno, si se basa la conversación, él dice que por su experiencia, uh -huh. él, él podría como, como tener ayudar las oportunidades. En... Ajá, en empresa. Yes, um, and trying other employees. Eh, Ajá. Como ayudar a, a, a capacitar a los demás empleados, la experiencia. Eso sí. Entonces ahí estaríamos, ¿verdad? Yes. Si hay tiempo, yes. podemos este, practicar un poquito más. Ya tenemos las preguntas. But uh, hey, Noah and Areli, Evelyn, and Carlos, remember that you have to create an original conversation with your names and with your real information. Okay. Do okay. you remember? Okay. In that way, you are going to practice. So you decide if, for example, Areli is going to create the conversation with Evelyn or with Carlos or with uh, Noe Gustavo. Yes, okay. yes, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. because you are four, so you work in pairs, yeah. Okay. Okay. Bueno, pues, entonces... But, so say, with experience, your job will be done better and safely. Algo así como con experiencia se realiza mejor su trabajo y con seguridad. Ok. Answer 2. No sé si las chicas copiaron las respuestas o quieren opinar algo, otra, otra respuesta. Sí. Y me pregunta en número dos. ¿O en cuál? Eh, cualquiera, la uno o la dos. Eh, donde tenga duda o si, o si le parece bien la respuesta que hemos dado ahorita. Ok. No. Yo creo que podríamos decir también en la pregunta número dos que la experiencia es importante para brindar un servicio de calidad al cliente. ¿Para qué, perdón? Es importante la experiencia también para darle un servicio de calidad al cliente. Sí, es cierto. <coughs> to give a good quality customer service. In the dialogue teacher or in my company? No, this is what she said. In the in the company. In the uh, no, I I don't know. It can be in the in the in the dialogue or in your ah. company. It depends on your position. Uh -huh. Okay. If, for example, in my company I am a customer service. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, answer two, the experience is important to provide quality customer service. Yes, that's it. 
Uh -huh. Yeah, because in all the companies, that is the expectation, yes? That yes. is the spirit to give uh -huh. good quality customer service. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is, okay. for example, in, in my company. In your company, and I think in all the companies, yes? Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> yeah. Okay, very good. Continue, continue, please. Okay, y Catherine, no sé si tiene alguna opinión. No, yo estoy yo. de acuerdo con la respuesta que ustedes dieron. Okay. Pero este en la pregunta número uno, este no, no le entiendo muy bien cómo hay que ser contestada. Estamos diciendo qué beneficio le da Kirk a la compañía o a la sí. empresa. Eso es. Ajá, es que según las respuestas de André y, y, y Daniel, lo que aporta es su experiencia. Entonces la respuesta que pusimos, ah. ¿verdad? Ajá, la respuesta que pusimos es, eh, what would you be some benefit of having cart in the company, your experience in the construction industry, and your experience as a manager, su experiencia... Uh -huh en la industria de la construcción y su experiencia como, como gerente. Ajá, uh -huh. but Kurt, not your, so his, his experience. Ah, ok, ok, yes, uh -huh. yes, okay. his, thank you teacher. Instead of your, his. His, his, yes, corregido, listo. Ok, <laughs> great, good, that's better. Good. In the other question, do you consider the experience is input and why? And in my case, it's very important and I, because I can transmit what I know to the other persons. Lo que sé, verdad? In caso, lo que yo sé lo puedo transmitir con otro. Yes, you can share. Your knowledge, okay, in your words, I share my knowledge with other people. With okay. other people, okay? Very good. I share my knowledge, yeah? Knowledge. Knowledge. Okay, I'm going to write it over here. What is knowledge, teacher? I not understand. What he said, conocimiento. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. thank you. So you say, I share my knowledge with other people. Why? Because remember, with one person, with two people. You cannot say persons in English. We say people in plural. Person only one with another person but only one person two or more we say people for plural the plural for person is people not persons people. okay sorry okay i share my knowledge with other people okay knowledge Thank you, teacher. Copy. Okay, great. And now you have the answers to the two questions, correct? Now I ask you guys, do you have your conversations? Yes. Do you or not yet? <laughs> Did you create your conversation? Yeah, practice the conversation. Create, no. que si crearon su conversación. No. Mm. Not yet. No, yet. No. yet. You are going to change only little things, yes? Okay. Mm -hmm. following, okay, following the example that you have, no problem. Una conversación igual a la de Andrew y Kier. Yes, similar. Okay. Serían 
Allí, digamos, la respuesta en donde va Kurt, que sería eh, pretty comfortable eh, with the cartera de clientes, que tendría que ser customers. Eh, a ver cómo se dice eso. Okay. Hello class. Did you finish constructing your conversation? Your yeah. original conversation? Yes. Okay. And your partner is Miss Minero. Who is your partner? Jennifer. Jennifer. Okay. And Edward and Miss Cristina Hernandez. Yes. She is not here. Ana Cristina. Ah, yes. oh, she's absent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And you have also the, the answers for the two questions. Yes. In the conversation. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Great. Let's wait a couple of seconds for the other partners to finish in the other groups, okay? Because when they are more people, uh, they have many things to discuss. Hello, class. Did you finish the activities? Um, we are working in the or um, creating your conversation. Oh, creating your conversa conversation. Yes. Okay. Excellent. And Jill, and what is? Finish teacher. Did you create your conversation? Your yes. original. Okay, excellent. And did you answer the two questions? Yes. 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 Mm. Congratulations, class. And let's see. Noe Gustavo, you practice your conversation with uh, Rivas. With me, ah, teacher. With Carlos. Excellent. And Evelyn and Arely Isabel. Yes. Yes. Hey, yes, boys, boys versus girls. Excellent. Good. So hold it. I'm going to add one student who wants to uh, look in Santa Carolina. Well, let's see. Go to group. Uh, okay. Susan. Okay. You know that the other groups are still building the, the conversation, yeah? But mm -hmm. I think we are going to go over, okay? And you, because uh, we need to listen to your conversation. So here we go. Let's return. Let's get back.
great class. Here we go. Let's discuss the answers to the question. Here we say, question number one, what would be some benefits of having Kurt in the company? Do you have the answer? Someone who reads the answer for question number one? The, the experience in the construction industry. Excellent, very well. And class, do you consider that experience is important and why? One volunteer to answer that question? Yeah, Only... teacher. Okay, but why? Give me one reason. Why is it important experience? Yes, yes because in it helps to carry it of quality work and trying other employees. Excellent. In order to train other employees to have a good quality service or to perform in a better way uh, their, their job, their activities at work. Yes, their duties. Yes. Now, here we go. Time to listen to your creativity, your production. Group number one. Representatives, we have Ana Cristina, Eduard Flores, Elizabeth, Ana Carla, Miss Carla Minero, and Miss Jennifer Beatriz Mejia, Cepeda. Okay, the presenters, Miss Jennifer. Hi, I've got a problem with my microphone. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, our conversation. Yes. Is there... Ana? Sí. Okay, who is going who is going to who is going to start? Jennifer or Ana Carla? Who begins? Okay, begin. Okay. How do you feel working in the human resources office? So good. Because of my experience, I think this will be a great opportunity to share my knowledge. I'm sure about that. You know, what can you offer to the missions company as a manager? Right now, I will be of great help because of my pre previous experience. That's perfect. I could be a great manager if you so hard. We don't listen to you, Jennifer. Right? We don't listen to you. She said, she said I could be a good manager. Yes, you could. That's it. That's all the conversation, girls. Yes? Yes. Okay, very well. Good participation. Congrats. And now, in the next team, if we have a participation, Miss Daisy Carolina, Henry Giovanni, Jill Yvonne, and Ursula Esteli. Do you have your conversation? Yes, we do or no, we don't. Well, no, we don't. Uh, we we try. Sure, we okay, try. try. Excellent. <laughs> Very well. Jill, and how com comfortable do you feel working in in those department?
Miss Gomez Martinez, who is going to answer to you? Um, I think Jill, but I don't know if she's there. Because nobody answers to you. Okay, thank you very much, Miss Ursula. Unfortunately, nobody wanted to participate with you, mm -hmm. uh, but I appreciate your intention. Group number three are Elizabeth, Carlos Enrique, Evelyn, Jamilet, and Noé. Do you have a conversation to share with the class? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, please. Eh, Rivas, inicio. Ok, Noel. Eh, hello, good morning, Mr. Rivas. How comfortable do, do you feel working in the sales area? Hello, Noel. Very comfortable, eh, Noel. With my experience, I can see when this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about, about that. Look, can you bring to the company and, uh, as an employee? Uh, I would be already accepting the company because of my experience in the sales industry. It's of the grain. Yes, and because of my experience as a supervisor, I could be of great help in large projects. Very good. See you tomorrow, no? Finish. Okay, see you. You have to say, no, when he says, see you tomorrow, because he's hiring you. You are the new employee, okay? Do we have another conversation in that group or only yours? Uh, no other conversation? Evelyn? No, teacher. Oh, okay, Evelyn, thank you for answering. Next one. <laughs> but you have your representatives. Now in group number four, we have Andre, Daniel Ernesto, Membreño Rivas, Catherine, Beatriz, Andreina Elizabeth. Do we have any conversation in that group that I'm you would sorry, like to share? Sorry, but I don't have the conversation, only the question and practice the conversation. Okay, thank you so much. In group number five, we have Edwin Esaú, Guillermo Eduardo, uh, Miguel Angel, Oscar Eduardo, and Susan Caroline, Susana. So, class. Okay. Do you have a conversation in there? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, please. Okay, a beginning. Um, Guillermo, how comfortable do you feel working in the Avianca? Pretty comfortable, Miguel. With my experience, I can say this will be a, a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, what can you read? Uh, to the company as an employee? I uh, will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the customer service industry. It's so great. Yes, and because of my experience as a customer service representative, I could be of great help training to new employees. Finished. Very well done. Do we have another conversation in that group? Yes. Okay. Eh, los compañeros que estaban, no recuerdo, Carlos creo que era, creo. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have... Edwin y conmigo Oscar. estábamos también. Edwin, ah, okay. Guillermo, Miguel Ángel, Oscar Eduardo. Ah, ok. Edwin y Oscar. 
Oscar. Podemos intentarlo, teacher, no okay. lo terminamos. Pero... Ok, go ahead. The idea is that you practice. Ok, in, in our case, uh, Edwin and, and I work in sales area. Entonces, we, we change a little. Ok, I start. Uh, Edwin, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? I uh, very comfortable with um, my experience. We have an um, opportunity in the placement of cash credit. In case in I can, this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a red asset in the company because of my experience in the construction there for five. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as manager, I will be a great help in large projects. That's it. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Great effort that you did, class, the ones who presented and shared the conversation. That is the spirit. Remember, practice makes perfect. Now I'm going to call your names in order to take your attendance. Uh, again, Ana Cristina Hernandez. Remember, you have to activate the cameras and say, here I am or present. Again, Ana Cristina Hernandez. Absent. Uh, Andre. Andre. Thank you. Arely Isabel Campos. Absent. Present. Ay, sorry. Thank you. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Great. Daniel Ernesto Membreño mm -hmm. Rivas. I'm here. Thank you. Um, David Emanuel, David. Present. Okay. Miss Daisy Carolina Angulo. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Esaú Galdames Calderón. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Elizabeth Miss Minero Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. I appreciate. Evelyn Yamilet Molina. Present. Thank you. Um, Miss Yvonne Mejibar de Castellanos, Mrs. Present teacher. Thank you. Henry Giovanni Rivas Rivera. Present teacher. Guillermo Eduardo. Present teacher. Great. Juan Eduardo Flores. Present. Jennifer Beatriz. Present. Okay. Catherine Beatriz. Present teacher. Katia Maria de Leon. Katia Maria de Leon. Absent. Eh, Maritza Elizabeth Martinez. Absent. Miguel Angel Santos. Present teacher. Thank you. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Eduardo Meléndez. Present. Great. Reina Elizabeth Garcia Alfaro. Reina. Present. Present. Thank you so much, Miss Reina. Now, Rosalí Bon Quintanilla Mejía. Present. Thank you. Sonia Esmeralda Mauricio. Absent. Sonia is absent today. Susana Carolina Rosales. Present. Thank you. Miss Esteli Gómez Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, class, activate your cameras. I'm going to capture your image to share it with the administration via WhatsApp. To the count of three, okay? Here we go. One, 
two, three. Remember, don't close your eyes, please. Mm. Open it, your eyes big and a nice smile. One, because we are going to immortalize your smile. One, two, three. Say yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Right now, I'm going to share it with you via WhatsApp. Okay. Over here. Yes, this is your group. Amazing. Nice smiles. Congrats, class. So, class, let's continue with our activities. And here we go. Now that you know that you are a valuable asset for the companies, right? Because imagine what would they do without employees? That would be a problem. Here, how to use would be and could be. They are similar but different because we use would be and could be when you want to give the impression of possibility in the future. I would be a great asset. I could be a great, I could be of great help in the sales department. Notice that here we say, I would be, it is a conditional. I would be in the case that you hire me, that you contract me, I would be a good asset, excellent asset for the company. I could be, okay, is when you have more possibilities than would, because uh, this is a conditional too. I could be of great help in the sales department. So, we give the image, the impression that there is a possibility for the future, for the near future. Class, let's unscramble the words to form sentences with this uh, set of words. You organize them in such a way that you create a sentence, subject, verb, and complement. And at the end, a full stop. Remember, all the sentences in, in English and in Spanish begin with capital letter, uppercase, okay? So you, the first set of words is great, study would be abroad, it opportunity to a. Let's go over together the first one as an example. So you can go over the others. Ah, yeah. Let's see, okay? Here, what would be the first word, the subject? Great study would be abroad, it opportunity to it, it, it would be it excellent. Is. And we it begin with be. capital letter, yeah? It, the modal auxiliary, would be. would be excellent. It would be a great, a great. A Opportunity. 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 Uh -huh. It would be a good opportunity to, to study abroad. To study abroad. Uy. Yes, to study abroad. Do you know the meaning of abroad? Means in another country. Okay. Now you go over number two, three, four, and five. When you finish, you tell me so we can double check. And if you need to make any change, you do it, okay? But don't be shy if you uh, misplace one word, no problem. The idea is that you try to use your knowledge, your understanding of the language and be productive. And that's it, okay? When you finish, number two, three, four, and five, you tell me, okay?
I'm looking for someone here. Let me see. Oui, she's not here. What happened to her? Ah, she's here. Okay, finally I found it. I found her. Miss Arely Isabel Campos Hernandez. Where are you? Oh, Where over there. You? Okay, great. Nice to see you. Nice to listen to you. Let me tell you that today is your one-on-one -on -one session. Okay? So I need you to stay with me 10 minutes after class. Is it possible, Miss? Yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you. We're going to reinforce the, you know, the reading practice and grammar. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Um, over here. Let's go with. Okay, here. Probably class, I don't know if you have number two. Are you ready with number two or not yet? If we have our beneficial employees would be a training for. Teacher. Okay, let's a see training. which. Okay, let's see. A training to be beneficial for our employees. For our employees. Excellent. And then we have a training would be beneficial for our employees. That's correct. Very well. Then in number three, we have less hours. Another working would be benefit. May be share. Okay. Another benefit uh -huh. would be working less hours. Excellent. That is one way. Another and benefit another way okay, would be working less hours. Less hours. Excellent. And the other way, the it's possible have to wait. Yes. Another way maybe to working less hours will be another benefit. Excellent. That is another way. If we say, yes. okay, working less, less hours, hours would be, be another benefit. Would be excellent. Would be another benefit. Benefit. Excellent. The two are correct. Okay. The two yes. are correct. The two uh, options are good. I'm going to diminish this so you can see them. Okay. What about number four? We have option staff would be a weekends off to a have good happy. Mm -hmm. Optional staff would be a weekends off to have good happy. Teacher, uh, I think yes. I think oh. could be uh, uh, that have would a good... be hello. What if we say, for example, weekends of now the modal auxiliary would be would it be 
okay? Weekends off would be a good option. Excellent. Would be a good option to have a happy start. To have happy. Okay, let's see. A happy, a to have. Okay, we can solve would be a good option to have a happy staff. Yes? To have a happy staff. Over here. Does this make sense, class? Weekends off would be a good option to have a happy staff. Is that okay? Does it make sense? Yes or no? Weekends off would be a good option to have a happy staff. Or to have a happy staff? No. That's the way. Weekends off would be... So Teacher. weekends off mean when you don't work on weekends. Yes? Maria. Ah, the other one. Maria is the subject. Maria. Could be. Could be. Hell, great. A great. Help. Help. No, help. Help great. Help in in department. Department of inventory. In the inventory department. Yes or no? Of department. Okay. Ah, but we have off. Maria could be a off. No, it is not off. It is okay. Here, Maria could be of great help in the inventory department. And pull a stop at the end. Is that okay? Yes? Okay, so there you are. Tell me if you have a different opinion. They are okay. Very well. Listen, here we are working with some of the benefits that some people have in the different companies. For example, in all your companies, you have the great opportunity to study um, different courses at Insaport because in some companies, they don't like that. Yes, Miss Jennifer? I have a question. Yes, Miss. Um, this day in the morning, I was working in the uh, platform. Okay. In the homework number two, there is a uh, exercise like we have done right now. Uh huh. So, um, the number four, I write it like we did right now, and it's still it doesn't it doesn't accept it. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes there are some problems in the platform. Tomorrow we are going to go over that situation, okay? And okay, thank you. check out if you wrote the capital letters correctly, and also yes. check out if you in are the full. The full stop at the end. Okay, Jennifer? Yes. Verify okay. that because sometimes, ah, also, one uh, other aspect class that you need to check out is that you don't need to, to give double space because many times when you by accident tap two times the space, the platform takes it as a mistake. Okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Very well. That's good, you know, because sometimes there are mistakes in the platform. And when you start working last, like Miss Jennifer, 
and we don't find a solution, we ask for tech support so they can fix the problems in the platform. And then you get the, the point correct and you get a good grade, okay? Very well. Okay, class, listen, I was about to tell you. In the sentences we were working with previously, uh, we were describing some benefits that people have in some companies. For tomorrow, I need you to think about some of the benefits that you have in your company because they vary from company to company, yes? And also from one department to another department, the benefits vary, yeah? Because tomorrow we're going to be working on that. Class, do you have any other question about the platform? No question. No questions. Okay, I have to tell you something. And this is serious. I really appreciate your attendance, your responsibility, and the people who were, who were working very hard. I have to congratulate you, okay? I am proud of you. Because remember, you don't need to be shy or afraid to be speaking. You need to develop your fluency your grammar, your vocabulary, that is the only way to improve, yeah? If there is no more other comment, no questions, Miss Arely Isabel Campos Hernandez, please stay with me. And for the others, if you don't have a comment or a question, have a good night, sleep well, and see you tomorrow, okay? Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night. Okay. Bye. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Elizabeth. Bye-bye, Edward. Bye-bye, Miss Jennifer Beatriz. Thank you for staying here, but we have a meeting with Miss Arely Isabel. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye bye, bye Jennifer. Bye. Have a good night, Jennifer. Edward, bye bye. <laughs> they don't want to leave when there is. Okay, Miss, here we go. <laughs> Let's see. Have you already begun working on the platform? Did you begin working on the platform, Miss? <clears throat> Ya comenzó a trabajar en la plataforma. Sí. Uh -huh. Ya empecé a trabajar, Ticha. Solo le quería comentar también que ahí va a haber ocasiones que puedo, me voy a conectar un poquito tarde, por, por como vengo a mi casa un poco tarde, he pasado uh -huh. las 8. Uh -huh. Sí, como el día de ahora. Ajá. Uh -huh. Me gustaría conectarme como 8 y 15 de esa hora. Uh -huh. No, sé si no tengo but that's okay. No, I think that that's okay. Uh, but it is good to know because of the traffic jam, right? A lot Ajá, of porque por el tráfico, así me cuesta y me da miedo sacar el teléfono, así en los yes, buses. Yes, no, no, uh -huh, that's Ajá, that's por eso prefiero conectarme cuando venga aquí en mi casa. Mm -hmm. Eso quería consultarlo. Y igualmente, en el aprendizaje de inglés, es, me cuesta un poco la pronunciación y la dramática, porque soy muy lenta. That's eso why sí. we're going to practice pronunciation, uh -huh. reading today, yeah. okay? Sí. Tengo que aprender a pronunciar bien porque me cuesta cuando quiero, por ejemplo, la F, que cuesta, mm -hmm. que en el inglés no existe la S. Esas mm -hmm. son las pronunciaciones que son, que me cuesta muchísimo. Ok, so let's practice. Sí, porque ajá, necesito más práctica de entender, entiendo, mm -hmm. pero, la, pero el momento de, de decirlo en oraciones o en dramáticas soy muy lenta y me cuesta la, mucho la pronunciación. That's why I tell you, no matter if you make mistakes, you have to practice, okay? And here okay. we are to practice. Okay, Miss, I'm going to share this and we are going to practice. Okay, let's see. We're going to get started with the conversation we practiced yesterday. Here we go. I'm going to read once and later we're going to practice. Okay, I need you to listen carefully. Hello, Ben. Okay. Hello, Ben. And Hello, welcome. Ben. Okay. Hello, Ben. Hello, Ben. And welcome. I welcome. 
and welcome. And welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. My name is Andre River, Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. For a branch in Honduras. What qualifications? What quali qualification do you have? Do you have for this job? For this how? Job. Job. Well, I can speak English. We well, can speak English. Well, where? I can speak English. Where I can speak English. Also. Also. I can manage. I can manage. Small. Small. And big projects. A big project. Big projects. Big project. And I am very good at sales. I am very good at sales. At sales. At sales. That sounds great. That sounds great. That sounds. That sounds great. Great. Can you speak Chinese? Can you speak Chinese? Chinese. Chinese. Can you speak Chinese? Can you speak Chinese? Chinese. Chinese. Excellent. And what about? And what about? Using? Using? Spreadsheets. A spreadsheet. Can you use them? Can you use them? Can you use them? Can you use them? Use. Use. Can you use them? Can you use them? Very well. I can speak. I can speak. Little. Little. Chinese. Chinese. But I can't. But I can't. Use. Use. Spreadsheets. Spreadsheet. I am a fast learner. But I am fine learner. I am. I am. A fast. A fast. No, fast. Fat. No, fat is gordo. Fast. Fast. Okay, learner. Learner. No, learner, no. Learner. Learner. No. Learner. Forget about the A. The, the letter A Le doesn't exist. Learner. Learner. No. Lay no learner. Le Lerne. Ney no ner. Learner. Mm. Nayner. No. Listen, listen. Learner. Learner. Excellent. That's it. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. When can you start? Where can you start? Very well. So you see, little by little. <laughs> and now let's go over the other conversation. Repeat after okay. me. Kurt. Here's how comfortable, how comfortable, comfortable, comfortable do you feel, do you feel working, working in the sales area, in the sales area, pretty comfortable, 
pretty comfort, no? comfortable. Comfortable. Pretty comfortable, sir. Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience. With my experience. No, with my experience. With my experience. No, with my. With my. Experience. 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 Okay. <laughs> Repeat after me. Experience. Experience. Very well. With my experience. With my experience. I can say. I can say. This would be. This would be. A great. A great. A great. A great? No. A great. A great. I know a, a great. A great. A great. Opportunity. Opportunity. Excellent. Very well. Wow. I am sure. I am sorry. Sure. Sure. I am sure. Ah. Uh, I am sure uh -huh. about that. About that. Look. Look. Okay. What? Here is missing one word. Falta una palabra. What? Okay. What? What? Okay. What can you bring? What can you bring? Bring. Bring. That's it. Bring. To this company. To this company. As an employee. As the employee. As an as employee. A, as an employee. Yes. Employee. Employee. Excellent. I would be. I would be. A great asset. A great asset. In the company. In the company. Because. Because. Of my experience. Of my experience. In the construction. In the construction. Industry. Industry. It sounds great. It sounds great. Mm -mm. Sounds great. It sounds great. Okay. Yes. Yes. And because. And because. Of my experience. Of my experience. As a manager. As a manager. I could be. I could be. Of great help. Of great hair. In large projects. In large projects. Large. Large. Projects. Projects. Excellent. So you okay. see, hey, 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 I think that every week you are going to stay with me so we can practice um, pronunciation. Yes? La pronunciation, por eso le comenta. La pronunciación, como no tengo mucho instructor y me cuesta la pronunciación, porque hay momentos que yo solo estoy practicando, pero necesito un, un instructor aparte. Ok, so that was a good practice, word by word, ok? Maybe next week we are going to have another meeting, ok? Ok. And we're going to practice reading. Ok, Miss, yes. thank you for your time. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Nice okay. Teacher. Bye. Thank bye. You. My bye. Goodbye. Have a good night, Miss. Bye bye. Goodbye.